She is known for her appearances on Bravo's Top Chef, and she's here to make us a very delicious dish from her cookbook, yeah. Busy Moms, which I guess I can't use because I'm a busy dad, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just take it, it and I'll person. convert it. You can do uh, it. And Tony Lafazzo is here. Um, yeah, I'll just convert it, do the conversion. It's like you can double just everything. So mom and dads can use this. This is I a great book. It's easy to do yes. and it's it's great recipes. And today, what, you go, what are you gonna make today? Um, today I'm actually gonna do my steamed mussels with fennel and a little bit of garlic and white wine. It's actually funny because I know Fabio Viviani is a, is a yeah. chef who's on yeah. the show with you guys all the time. He makes fun of me with this dish because because I beat him on Top Chef with it. Oh, so when you see did. him next yeah. time, yes. 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 when you see him next yeah. time, remind him of my Italian muscle. Yes, <laughs> oh, I bet you it must have stabbed him right in the heart. Because yeah, he's, he's still very upset about it. Yes. Yeah. Well, how did you first get interested in cooking? I know you come from an Italian family. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I come from an Italian family, but funny enough, it was a jello mold that struck the deal for me. Um, I grew up eating like uh, cannolis and tiramisu and things like that, and I went to a family member's house who they basically gave me a jello mold and I was floored by this idea of something different and you mean a wiggly jiggly a wiggly thing? with like the fruit that's like stuck in time <laughs> yes. and it was just amazing and I went home and I bought I asked my mom to buy me a jello mold cookbook and I made jello mold every day for like an entire month and I presented it to the table as if it was like yeah. This masterpiece, yeah. of course. So thank you to my mom and dad who like. So you're gonna make a masterpiece yes. with mussels today. <laughs> I am. Now I know that cleaning mussels is very, very important because if yes. you get a bad one, you can get Absolutely. really sick. Absolutely. So I'm gonna just go over, I mean, and it could be a little like scary for people. Like, how do you clean them? How do you know if they're alive? How do you know if they're dead? Um, yeah, you really how do want, you know? Well, you want to just go through them. Like this one is dead. You can see here. I'll tap on him in a little bit. Hello. 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 Yeah. He's not closing. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I'm just saying it's a man. He's not closing. So, so what does that mean? He's. We're gonna discard him. He's dead. Oh, here, okay, so you can throw them over there. I'm gonna trash now, this him. one is nice and closed. Okay, so we will use him. However, there's like a little beard. Now, what is that beard? Why do you have to pull that out? Well, we're gonna pull that out because no one really wants to eat a beard. No, no one wants I, to no, eat the hairy to. part that comes out of the muzzle. So we're just gonna pull that off and then that would just be discarded off to the side. So you want to just go through them. Do you have to rinse them underwater? Yes, you would definitely go through them and we would rinse them here like this. Now, once they're in there, do you need to scrub them at all? Um, you know what, I actually scrub them against each other. I use them, like, you, you can kind of like rub them against each other. I feel like that's the best form okay. to get any kind of grit or sand. Oh, please bring away some in. We're going to bring the, yes. the mussels in oh, right now. Great. So there I'm going to start the dish right here. I've got some butter because yeah. okay. we Thank love you. it. And a little bit of garlic I'm going to add to it. Oops. Are these are, are, are mussels for people who've not had them? Are they like clams? Would you? Are, are much yes. Different? Yeah, it's, much. it's a shellfish mm -hmm. um, in the same family. Absolutely. We're going to add some aromatics here. Ooh, what did you put in? You have garlic so and I thyme? have garlic and you can smell that. Oh my God. That way. Oh, There's nothing that. better Good. than Gosh. some beautiful like thyme, That's garlic. Oh. And you want to really bloom those oh herbs. Oh so good. They're so good. Oh. 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 Thumbs up. Yeah. Total thumbs up. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. This is way better than Fabio's. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going to have to get that in writing. There you go. Um, and then once those aromatics have bloomed in there, and you can kind of see that, that's you can so kind of smell the rosemary so like trickling. I'm going to throw all those clean mussels in there. Oh, my gosh. We're going to do oh. a little bit of sugar. This Ooh. is where people are oh, like. No, why do you put sugar in there? So, sugar balances. The, the white wine, because you've got this very acidic, uh -huh. you know, uh, wine can be very uh -huh. acidic, so we're gonna balance it with a little bit of sugar, and I feel like that's the trick. There's a little bit of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. You ever have muscles sometimes, and they're just, <laughs> all your, really they're bitter, yes. right. they're bitter. Right. So a lot of times people are not realizing okay. to use sugar in their uh, savory cooking, it's not just for the sweet. Now, use all your old wine from home. I'm gonna just take a sip, because you wanna just make sure. Is such a thing? That's okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Is it all right? Is it okay? Oh, are you okay. sure? Perfect. I can taste it again. Try it again. <laughs> well, you just want to make sure that your wine hasn't turned to vinegar. Yeah. So just always take a little sip of it. There you go. And you're going to let them steam and go, you oh, want to voila. Oh, because I love what Sophie's doing. She's taking the, the bread oh, and she's dipping, she's oh. dipping it. Let me pull yeah, that off right yeah. I'm going to just dip it. Absolutely. I'm gonna dip that oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, the dip. Awesome. I'm going to take these mm. over here and mm. we will plate them. Oh, what a treat oh. that is. Oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. Are you gonna plate them up? Yeah, I'm gonna plate them for you, you here. You do dip the bread in the juice. But feel oh, free. Yeah. The juice is actually the best part for me, mm -hmm. I have to say. Mm -hmm. This is actually a dish that I do in my restaurant here in Los Angeles. What's the name of your restaurant? Um, it's Black Market. This dish has followed me around. People loved watching me do it on Top Chef, and now 
they get to actually try it in the restaurant, which is always kind of cool. But you have Finish two restaurants. Part -time. Yes, I have Black Market and I have Scopa Italian Roots, which you know I'm oh from God. Long Island, New York. So here you go. This is outside. I have already. Okay. <laughs> I already <laughs> this is outside. So <laughs> easy too, like it's talking about a uh, yeah, workday meal. Absolutely, yeah. it's very simple, and that's why I really want to inspire people with the cookbook. That's really what the cookbook is about. It's really about kind of my life, my journey. You know, things that are hard to do or see seemingly hard to do in a restaurant, you can do at home. Can you, can you, so, you ever serve this one with, with linguine? Oh, absolutely. So Over some so pasta good. is yeah, delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really, that's what it is. Something that can be brought from the restaurant to the home or something that's just, this you know, This is outstanding. Made well, I think not only a thumbs up, but a big <laughs> round of applause yeah. for Antonio. Delicious, delicious. Uh, full recipes on our website, hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family. <laughs>